Speaking in Nevasha, the chairman of Kenya Cooperative Coronavirus Response Committee, Francis Kamande, says the survey is expected to be completed by the end of the year. Kamande says the commission study will aid the movement in establishing the cumulative impact, come up with recommendations and appropriate mitigation measures. The, the last thing we want to avoid is auctioneering and those kind of negative impact to the members or to our members. So therefore, circles have been very highly affected because of low loan repayment. And therefore, some which were basically depending on small as small as uh, uh, msmes basically are basically crowded because the shops have been closed small hotels have been closed and therefore neighbors are not able to pay the money so there's no money to give out and there's no money that they're actually receiving kenya savings and credit cooperatives as an asset base of one trillion mobilize savings and deposit in excess of 732 billion kenya shillings and a loan portfolio of 700 billion so when they think about assisting banks can they also think about the cooperative movement? Because if you are not assisted, we have got our regulator, Sasla, who are here. They normally tell us that in order for us to operate, then we must maintain some uh, ratios. It will not be possible now because the liquidity that we have, huh, we are taking it to the provisioning for loan. According to Peter Wira from the SACO Society's Regulatory Authority Supervision Department, SACO members are facing monumental challenges. But we can say that the liquidity of the SACOs is still good. And uh, from the figures, the liquidity is, 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 is well. Uh, we monitor the liquidity of SACOs on a daily basis. They give us returns on a daily basis, and we look at how the trend is going. So far, so good. Um, the reason being SACOs in terms of managing risks, they've decided to go slow, especially on the long-term loans. He reminded the management of SACO on the need to remain proactive, respond to the emerging dynamics and position the cooperative business model as the best alternative in the ensuing circumstances that help households and businesses survive and thrive in the future. Reporting for Ibru TV, I'm Dolly Murigi. Uh, this will be presented by uh, Peter Wira.